evening to you and thank you so much for sticking to Y254 TV. We took a short break but we are back and you are watching the Power Talk Show. I am your host, Cheryl Blessing. Before we went on our break, we were having a very interesting conversation on love versus simping. How can you tell if it's love you're experiencing or if you're just simping in a relationship or a situationship? And the question we have asked you on social media is how long do you think you should pursue someone to get into a relationship with them? You can go at Y254 and tell us, give us a comment, give us an experience that you had and any opinion and we will sample that as we progress with the conversation. So joining me live on set are Lois and Fabio. And before we went to the break, we were going through a, a few situations and we've established that love has to be very mutual and simping is basically when it's unreciprocated but now let's talk about the situation the case file that we gave of someone who carries a pan and goes all the way to a guy's house and cooks and does all these things lois why do you think things like that happen these days i mean people are not in a state where they can love themselves enough and they think when someone else tag along their life, they are going to complete them fully, only to realize they, they are just in their space because they want something. And I feel we are not even in a state to know I can, I'm enough when I'm alone. There must be someone else in my space so that I can feel complete, which is not exactly how things are at the moment. Because by the, by the end of the day, that person is going to pick what they want from you and they are going to walk. No matter how many times you carry that pan, no matter how many times you go and watch the curtains, over the weekend, a lady will be there on the couch. She's going to be served socks. She's going to be given a warm blanket. Then there is you who is falling there all the time. And by the end of the day, you'll be here telling us that the guy is not genuine enough. He could have told you. He didn't have that time. You could have read the signs from the word go. Mm. But you're there and you feel it's comfortable, it's nice, just because it's juicy for the mm. moment. And now how do you read those signs? And how do you know? When do you even say, Fabio, if you're getting to know someone, when do you think is the right time for her to come in and start doing all these wifey duties? That's what people like to say. And I've seen cases where someone is rejected and they're told, I don't want you. But they still come back. And they still come back and do the same things. Because they feel like they'll get you to love them by showing you that they, they have wifey material qualities within themselves. How long do you think someone should, sh should start showing you their wifey material or someone should, a guy should show that he's hubby material in a relationship or a situationship? I think when you start dating, when you've not gotten, you're still friends, you should first of all exclude first that uh, uh, issue of uh, cooking for each other and what have you. You can do potluck on the side. But for me, I advise that at least when you're dating, when, when you've gotten to the stage of dating, that's when now you come to start this cooking over and what have you. But uh, sometimes you, in that situation that you've said, when you cook, you cook for someone and uh, they still believe that the way through your heart is through the stomach, nah, let's not <laughs> feel like, let's be serious, guys. Uh, ladies, let's try to minimize the coming through sometimes you know as a man you also need your own space yeah yeah you can't keep on coming over and i need my own space i need to breathe i need to <coughs> sort my things out i need to like have my like i, I have my schedule too so yeah. uh maybe try 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 to minimize the try to discuss once once okay mm. like visiting once once twice don't don't make it a habit mm. or every time every weekend it's there you. You're, available. you're available. You're actually too yeah. available. I'll, I'll give you the concept of demand and supply. That too much demand causes uh, uh, supply uh, uh, No, too much too much supply causes the demand the, to go to, to, to the demand to go lower, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So if you supply yourself to this guy uh, too much. Uh, your demand f will go lower because he's so used to you, he's so accustomed to you that you're like, hey man, yeah. try to give the, the man some space to breathe. At least let him go once in a while to enjoy himself. Not like you're there and you've heard he's told you you're going with the boys and then you, you're there trying to uh, cushion him against it. Yeah. Like, he needs his own time, he needs to socialize, he's been, okay, for example, if he's been at work from nine, eight to five, it is also time to, like, breathe, 
have a, a, a relax, uh, mm, weekend. take the weekend, so spend just time, downtime. just have some downtime, just to clear things out. Sometimes you know that space, maybe you're in a confined space together, it doesn't help you think as a man. Yeah. Like even you as a person, you'd like your own space. Yeah. So uh, I believe that with time, you'll get you'll get to know the person. Then if the if the guy insists in the situation that the guy insists, I think that's where you like tell him no, I'm busy or something. Try to yeah. Uh, don't don't get yourself too attached there, because mm. you might find yourself losing at the end. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And you see, the, the, I think the analogy you gave was that really summarized things. When there is so much influx of supply, then the demand is low because mm. it's there, it's mm. available. I can I get it any time. Yeah, but then if the supply is less, then the demand is high. It becomes exclusive to some extent. And that's why you have to take time to miss. Because you have miss Sangapi. You know? <laughs> so let me read the comments and then move it to, to Lois to give us her perspective. The question we asked was how long do you think it's right for you to pursue someone before getting into a relationship? So these are some of the comments that we've gotten from Facebook. And we have Freddy Benzen says, this is under my own experience. Nili pursue four good years and things were good, better, but after some time, mtu anakama na kushu mkwe mabeshte, and that was all, locked in from Kirinyaga. I'm really sorry, Freddy, because four years was such a, a long time. And we have BK Sam who says 15 minutes, period. Eh, 15 minutes? <laughs> Umemjua ata kweli. Alex Odiambo says, watching Power Talk from Ugunja, Siaya, Asante, Sanaku to watch. We have Daga Boy who says, what do you mean when you ask how long? Then how long is long? For me, you should have a crush on someone for not more than two days. Then when you gain courage and confidence, just hit on the nail. Should not exceed five days. Hello, I'm Daga Boy. I've been seeing you around. You're so beautiful in my eyes. Thank you. Then, then see more. I wa eh. So even do nakatia na if you even dagger boy even do five business days <laughs> mekafunga I want you to be my bay nam songange mkienda Hosea Masudi says siku hizi mambo haijulikani unaweza pasi mtu miaka mingi na mwisho akwambia na mwisho uambiwe tu kwetu mabeshte locked in at Eldoret thank you so much Hosea Ali King's Jeshi says so uh, have test you have to test the person with some behaviors, whether kama ni mtumzuri ama mbaya, and then I'll start by telling the truth. If I want us to relate to each other, that's very good advice. You have to really get to know someone. Uh, we have Yamal Abdi who's saying, uh, after taking her to a supermarket and carefully watching, <laughs> carefully watch her pigs. Hey, si tactics ni, mastail ni deadly, deadly. That's what people are saying. Peter Mwangi says, hello, I'm looking for... Uh, Someone who we can't mention on air. I'm sorry, Peter. Charles Kafu Kafu says, Karatina tuko pamoja. And then, Ana to watch Bado. So, that was very interesting. I'm finding that most people were not go, but your rejection, ya kukua friend zoned. And that happens a lot. Because um, four years to me is wild. That's a long time. Uni mtutua mesomea high school, amemaliza. So... <laughs> So when you actually think about it, you've invested so much time and energy into something when you know it's not going anywhere. Also, I'd say 15 minutes, 5 days, that's kidogo time. You need to know someone. So there needs to be a balance of perhaps a few months. Uh, Lois, bringing it back to when we were talking about simping, when you know it's unciprocated and being too available. But then we were saying the only way you can get to know someone and get to, to get to love is by spending time together. So as a lady, Lois, how do you think we should find the balance of being available but not too available? I think to start with, I don't understand why we should be meeting in our houses for whatever thing we have. Let us meet outside because it's easier to know people. More often I tell people, if you intend to date someone, you can go to Karura, have a walk. Yeah. It's a long distance and you'll have discussed so many things with people, maybe nature, maybe mvua, I don't know so many things that are happening at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> but that idea of you meeting at a man's house, he's cooking for you, she, the man is holding your waist there and let me tell you, these bodies are flesh. And that idea of us assuming that, no, we cannot, I don't know, do this, we cannot do this, yeah. has led so many people into mothers when the time was not right. Sure. And guys be like, I was not ready to become a father. Yeah. At that point, what do you say? You were there, 
you have your own house, but you decide I'll be going once, twice, thrice. Both of you have emotions. What do you expect? Mm. Yeah. Because either way, the familiarity makes you... Also, just the proximity. The only... So there's... Kuna options too. Mambo ni matatu. <laughs> you know? Because either mta watch movie, mpike, ama... All those things lead to probably one direction. And it takes a lot of self-control for you to restrain yourself. And unfortunately... Most people don't realize that. Or they assume that they can trap someone physically and then the emotions will come in after. And most times, it's very tricky to have the conversation of what are we after you've engaged sexually. Fabio, do you think you should have the conversation before or after? Because you have to test the waters. You have to know if you're compatible. But is it important to have a conversation and figure out what are we doing, where are we going, what do we want to be before you decide to move to the next step? I think you should like uh, you should not test the waters first, because that's why you ruin everything. Because like now, eh, it's like a surprise. We went once you uncover the surprise, what happens? It doesn't become a surprise anymore. Like it doesn't come interesting to you because mm-hmm. you s- you used to do it. Yeah. So like uh, I think uh, you should have that discussion first. Let's yeah. not get into lovey daves and romance mm-hmm. while we've not figured out what we are first. Yeah. I'd want us to put a label to what we are. If we are not compatible, just tell me. Mm-hmm. I, I'll, I'll accept. I'll even go for counseling. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 counseling after counseling, Zuri. Nihil pole pole. Loisa kwa hapa. Loisa advice. We got you. We got you. <laughs> and you know, that's very important because yeah. you see, the, when the emotions get mixed up, mm. then it's very hard to think clearly. Yeah. And it's important to have a conversation, this hard conversations, before you get to a point where uko, uko, you're not really thinking straight. Mm. And then it brings me back to what people are saying because there are those people who've pursued someone, they've dedicated, invested, done all these things. Mm-hmm. Alafuana kwa friend zoned. Lois, how do you how do you how do you deliver information? You know, sometimes people don't even think about the re- rejection aspect. Mm-hmm. How can you tell someone? How lo- after how long do you tell someone? Mm-hmm. By the way, Mimi si feel vibe yako and we are not going anywhere. Is it okay to tag someone along? Ama should you just act oblivious and be like Missy Kujona nitaka? After how long should you tell someone? I'm only interested in being friends to avoid wasting their time. I think by the fact that you know what you want in life, as soon as you realize that person is not what you're looking for, just tell them. Yeah. You're such an amazing person, but you're not too good for a man for mm. me. I know it hurts. <laughs> but let me tell <laughs> you. Don't <laughs> but let me t- I know I know it hurts, mm. but don't beat around the bush. Yeah. Because if there is one creature who is very intelligent in this world, is a is a man. And if a man can suspect rejection, a man can kill you. Yeah. So that idea of you beating around the bush, I don't know, let me think, let me send another man who is going to go and let, don't do those things. Just tell that man, imagine you're such an amazing man. I have had to do that to so many men. We go on a date, you go telling me maybe you have a child, or I go telling you I have a child who is five years old, and they'll be there asking you, what do you think about dating someone who has a child? You're like, oh, I cannot date someone who has a child. Then I'm there asking you about your story. So tell me about yourself. You're there telling me you have a five year five-year-old child so me are wondering why is it an issue that me I having a child and you have and you have but you having a child need accommodation and i'm like bro you're such an amazing person but i you're don't think yeah me. yeah and what about that fear fabio clearly you may, re- you may react <laughs> <laughs> at least get up an example in a pen a rejection chest pains immediately ukapata trauma Nji console. Alafu. <laughs> yeah? Alafu sasa ni tafte counselor. But see, yeah. <laughs> Unatofta mwingine. Unatofta okay, mwingine. Yeah. Juhu. Unatofta yourself. Say, say your thoughts. Na your trauma pia. So. Zna, and zna. Can we. Tebu tueleze basi. Uh-huh. Wanaume wa handle laji rejection. Because let me give a case. A, a scenario. You reject someone, maybe you, you've met uh, in a matatu, uh-huh. you start talking uh-huh. and they're interested in you, uh-huh. but then you know, uh-huh. even if I give you my number, this is going nowhere. I'm not interested. Siko hapo. And then when you tell them no, moods may change. Kidogo ananza kukwa mtu mbaya. Or in extreme cases, people even come and want to 
do the extreme. They want to kill you. They want, if it's not me, you can't have anyone else. Mm -hmm. So how can men accept rejection without feeling like they need to force issues? I think, I think as men, we need to come to this actualization. The worst she can say is no. No. I like no to being friends. But if she leaves that door open, consider it as an option. But don't leave it, don't, don't stick your head too much on that option that you forget the other women. So, like, if she's tell you no, she, she, she has told you no, move on. Like, yeah. get someone, go talk to someone. Don't, do, okay, me no jamu ka peke angu jumu. Me ku alone. So, okay. So, tafta uh, watu within your circle, you trust, and with this sensitive information, you can talk to. But sometimes, manze, in a kwanga, tricky share situation, at least, if you feel like you don't feel like you can share, at least share with her, a counseling psychologist or someone who's endowed with the uh, knowledge mm. with these um, mm. things to do with heartbreaks and what have you, and yeah. they'll advise you and even make you to make an informed choice. And as for a man, you shouldn't stay there for long. If you know this lady is there and you know she's not, she's not reciprocating, just leave her. Cut yeah. her off, pole pole. You don't even have to talk to her. Just cut her off. At her jua to at her realize. She'll yeah. just read between the lines. <laughs> Ladies, you're smart. Smile. It's a bit amelized. It's a bit amelized. Who me left. But that's important because you know, sometimes it's important to accept mm. that you have been rejected. Accept that you have been heartbroken. And the way you're saying, it's important to also just sit there and feel the emotion. It's not bad because sometimes pushing the emotion down is what makes it come off in a in a worse way in future or something else. Uh -huh. Now let let me give some case scenarios so uh -huh. that we can see what is simping and what is love. Uh -huh. Lois, let's say someone is hitting on you mm -hmm. and they like you and they're interested, but they want to bombard you with all these things, gifts. They're like, where are you? I want to come and see you. I want to spend time with you 24-7. They're doing the most, going above and beyond just to prove that they're interested. So would you consider that love or would you consider that simping? That simping for me. Yeah. Because why do you have to give me flowers and give me time and, and be a good communicator at the same time? By, that, by, by the end of the day, I need to know which are your love languages. Mm -hmm. You cannot just give me flowers and what, everything. No, no, no. At times I feel like my hair is out there and I'm like, wait, what are you up to? I feel like he's after a goal. Mm. When someone is doing the most, yeah, because they feel, feel like as much as you could be having that money, mm. you could not do that to your sister. Mm. Would do and that what if me? it's in their nature? What if this person is just a nice person? You see, kuna watu yenye naskenga ti naturally ati kifunga certain season they just buy you cars. Upata na namtu wenye maybe you've never dated someone who buys you a car and then all of a sudden ni birthday ako ndo your bends. How would you accept that? I think I would first ask them about their love language. Mm. Nikijua, no, I know how to hold it up when it comes, but I'm very skeptical with those things, with gifts and all those things. I'm not a surprised person. Because oh. with time, I can, I can predict where we are going through the conversation, but gifts, I'm like... Or is that not your love language? So you really have to process... No, no, it is because from other people, I'm very comfortable about it. Mm. But when it comes to someone who is trying to date me, and things are falling into place very fast, I'm always like... There's something. Yeah. yeah. This is me. But I know there are other people who feel they're very comfortable with that. Mm. But let me tell you, until women get into a space where they understand that money is not everything, yeah. men who have things out here will still step up to their spaces. And let True. me tell you, that one man is going to hook around your space and you'll not rescue yourself from that. But then we got men who can give you gifts and all those things. And all, but ask them... Bro, now that you've given me all these gifts, where is this leading Going. us into? Yeah. Because you're just ignorant, you're there posting photos and you have this guy and all those things. Two months later, you are a motivational speaker on TikTok <laughs> telling us how <laughs> the women. men are toxic you know? and you held on that all that time. Yeah. And you see, I like what you've said. When something is too good, when a deal is too good, you have to ask questions. Because, you know, normally... No one has everything. No one is perfect. No one can give 100%. Mm -hmm. So when it's too good, you have to ask questions. There are people who want to like, hey, no, I've met a nice person. He's so giving. He's so caring. 
but you don't know maybe he's psychotic maybe he's going to capture you and close you in the house for one year afterwards so you have to ask questions you have to know what the intention is behind the actions and what about uh, fabio what about when we toss it to the the men's side mm -hmm. when you feel like let's say, okay for you you've given us very clearly that you you try you intentionally you want to gauge someone mm -hmm. but there are men who don't do that mm -hmm. the men who feel like let me try and win her over by doing something or by showing something. So they'll come and tell you, you know, I just got a new job. I'm earning this much. So they want to flex the material or they want to flex even sometimes the physical. Mm. They're like, you know, I've been going to the gym. Yo, mm. how do you feel like what one of our jewe he una force issues na he una umtu anakutaka. It's reciprocated. How can you tell that apart? I think... Uh, there are some things that just should be kept personal. Like mm -hmm. things like finances, kwanza na mkianza kudate, hizo ni vitu za mwenyewe. Like, like saye ni kama saye ni kuambia siri yangu, pini yangu ya mpesa, na tusha ajua, na ajua na hivyo sana. So what's the next thing? See, I'm expecting someone to steal from him. Yeah? So like, uh, let's, let's try to, let's try to first, so there's some things I, s I usually say, there's some things that are private and confidential, and then there's yeah. the some things for the general public. Sometimes, uh, when you stay with someone, get them first. Like, if you don't want to get them and you want to flex with this money, at least do it in a prudent manner. Yeah. Like, as in, do it, don't do it, um, like a, okay, let, let me not say a fool, but someone who's not learned. Do it in some way <laughs> that <laughs> they'll <laughs> see, uh, okay, sawa, nimeona. Na sasa ukipata mtu, there's also this type of women who immediately they meet you. Ni bathdeo, nyoleo in a fighting zone next week. Gas imeisha, sana ni usiku. Send 5k immediately. It's urgent. <laughs> and you just met this person. Sasa hapo, isha kume kwa kwa zone. Ya wewe, wewe ni wagas, wewe ni wanautaji, <laughs> wewe ni wanini. Mwambie, like, what were you doing? Just ask her that question. What were you doing when I was not there? Yeah. Like, who was sustaining you? Who was providing these things? I know in my percentage I'm supposed to provide, but we just met. Isn't it too a bit mm. early? Mm. Let's discuss. Let's talk. If you get furious or something, I've asked a simple question. I think I, th I think uh, I, I think that way you might you might you might try to separate yourself. When you ask that critical question, there's some critical questions you ask, and they'll be like, "Eh, hey, Kwani, I'm asking too much." So mm. the, the intrusive thoughts get the better yeah. part of you, yeah. and then that, that's that's what you let them guilt trip themselves. Mm. So that way you build that uh, nini that you're not supposed you're not with me because of money. You're yeah. here. Because, build, of uh, uh, because of who I am. Mm. Because if you start building your relationship with, hey, I need 5K urgently, I want to dress up, up. Yo, I just met you. Mm. Like, let's let us let's pole pole. I don't know what, what the dress is going to. I don't know whether it's dress. I don't know what dress is going to date na mtu mwingine. Ama you know? know? <laughs> <laughs> and now when we, we toss it to mm. the ladies, People tend to say, Mwaname anafata after pesa ndiyo madimu wakuje. It's a common phrase that has mm -hmm. been tossed around. That when you have money, women come. Or when you're financially secure, women come. Lois, do you think that's all a man needs? Or is there more that a man needs to make sure that you love it and make sense? I don't think the pressure is that much because we're in a society where we have equal rights. The same way a man is tamaking, the same way a woman is tamaking to get that job. Why is it that if I want to date now, I need the first list is a man who is financially stable. Like if I want a man who is driving, I need to be parking my car next to his. Not that idea of I want a man who is driving, but there is a lady who said that if you want to be next to the man who has a car, ensure kona sure ya kukambele. <laughs> and I'm telling you that hit me oh, so true. serious. I, I was like, wait. I've had things, but yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I don't think, as much as you want to say at the bar and all that, one thing I keep saying, ladies are the people who decide the men they want. It has never yeah. been the issue of men. Yeah. The moment a man starts thinking that we want him because he's doing, he's doing, he's doing, by the end of the day, I'm going to catch up with you. Maybe I'll, I'll find you, you want to date me? I'll find you driving and having all those things. 
one day, one time, I'm going to catch up with you. But whatever is going to sustain us is the spark that I found in you that is not in any other man. Yeah. But if you and other man are equal, I mean, I'll walk out. Why do I have you? Because you're not standing out. There's nothing yeah. else. And now when we're closing the show, because time is really not on our side, how can you ensure that you really like this person, you love this person, in fact, and you're trying not to be desperate, you're trying not to show you're desperate? Fabio, just tell us that in under 30 seconds. How can you, as a man, when you're pursuing someone, not show desperation? I think uh, your language, your body language, first of all, says it all. Like, there's a way you can communicate to someone and like, hey, is this guy desperate or what? So, like, um, get, get, like, that composure first. You know, don't, don't go talk to someone and you're not in the right state of the mind. Mm -hmm. Like, okay, even when you're dressing, like, appearances, first impressions, make a nice first impression. They'll see, okay, so, I've seen, uh, okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I like the way you <laughs> you're describing non-verbally. <laughs> 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 At least you don't look the part. But if you look at the you don't look the part. And then you're here trying. Of course, uh, things will fall apart. <laughs> Not like the book. <laughs> Yeah. But, okay, it, it's about how you present yourself yes. that shows that you're not desperate or you're put together, you, you're self-aware. Mm -hmm. Lois, what about for the ladies? Because, you know, sometimes ladies these days pursue men. Or if you're interested in someone and you want to show that you're interested, but you don't want to appear too desperate or too available, the way we were saying, how can you do that? I think love yourself enough not to be in anyone's space. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So basically, mnasema to know thyself. Ujijue alafu, ukiji present, then it's easy. And then remember, mm -hmm. what you can say is no. Mm. No, N-O, that. It, and, and that's it. It can't men, kill you. I hope the men are listening. Because, yeah. you know, these days we hear so many crazy stories. Yeah. A rejection is not the end of the world. Mm -hmm. It's just something that happens. And then you move on and you do better. And sometimes you even find better... Because you know, just squeeze when I say manga oga rudi kwa soko. What to work by the way? Because yeah. there was a statistic of men are less than women, so you mm -hmm. guys have options. Mm -hmm. And I love this conversation because we've really tried to understand what is the difference between love and simping. So the bottom line I have personally got is simping is you trying to do the most when you know it's un unreciprocated. It's you basically begging to be picked. And love is mutual. Love is, it's easy. The way Lois said, love doesn't have to be complicated. So I love this conversation that we've had. Maybe you can tell us uh, where we can get you on, our, on your socials briefly. Because Appa, Director Karibu Aninyoe. Lois, where can we get you on socials after this conversation? TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, everywhere. Mm. At Lois Wadring Girl Crescent. Nice. What about you, Fabio? Uh, I'm, on, I'm on Instagram, X, uh, yeah, and those ones. Uh, on uh, Instagram at Fabi Wanjohi, uh, X Karugu Wanjohi. But I'll I'll I'll, I'll dislocate so that we can be on the same platform. Yeah, yeah. I like yeah. that. So you know where to find them after this show. My name is Cheryl Blessing, and I'd like to thank the entire team because they have made this show a success. And particularly you for taking your time to watch us. I hope you've enjoyed the show. I hope you've gotten something from it. And next week we'll have yet another interesting conversation. So stay tuned to that. More amazing programs are coming your way. So stay tuned to Y254 TV. You can find me across all socials at Cheryl Blessing. Engage with me there. And then we can uh, maybe see, find a way to become better together. A repeat of this will air tomorrow between 1 and 2 p.m. And we'll be back next week. Thank you so much once again and have a lovely evening.